The surprise package was a performance at the Kogi State Council for Arts and Culture the next day, something that wasn't initially part of the itinerary, but a parting gift to the people of Lokoja before they moved to Kaba for another show. The percussion instruments are out of the van, and the drums are being double-checked, a pointer to the direction this performance will go. So when the instrumentalists began producing tunes, the sound of drums attracted a handful of people, while their colleagues, now part of the audience, cheered them on. shot to reach out to the man on the street seems to be paying off as residents take time to capture the moment with their various gadgets. The less tech survey ones such as the traders set their wares aside and just enjoy the moment but still attract customers. They don't spend too much time here as this is just the tip of the iceberg announcing their departure to Kaba where their work is cut out for them. From Lokoja, the confluence town, we move a bit further to Kaba for another interesting performance by the National Troop of Nigeria. Enjoy it! Kaba, a town which connects several states from the north to the west, is no stranger to noise, mostly from vehicles blurring their horns as they move through Lokoja, Okene, Ogidi and Adoikiti. But there's going to be a racket of a different sort at the Igbo Community Hall, and the buzz in town is that a cultural troupe from Igbo land is showing off some masquerade, a misconception that came up owing to the venue. To set the record straight, the troupe decides to step up its interaction with the people and not rely solely on the publicity that was done before their arrival, a lesson from Lokoja. Singing, dancing, showing off posters with a play, Ajoyo, inscribed boldly, the drum beats have already attracted a spectator. This little girl will give them some moves of her own. As the roadshow begins, that scenario plays out as heads turn, feet respond to the beat of drums, then the artists stop in the heart of town and cry out. A sea of heads stop in their tracks and listen to these young men and women who exude so much energy with songs and steps. When they are searching of undivided attention, it's time to communicate in a language they understand. This sort of publicity is the norm, especially with community theater where professionals and the people collaborate to do a play, or is strictly a community affair. But the national troupe had to adopt this method because it's the best medium to get a message across for rural dwellers. The experience created a lot of excitement in town, but when the artists return to base, they admit that so far it's been a learning curve for everyone. It's really fun, especially the um, guerrilla publicity. It's like taking us back to the roots where theatre all started from in terms of publicity, where you go about making noise, inviting people, using your voice as a megaphone. I'm a performer, I'm an artist, so I'm used to it. I'm taught that when you go out to perform, do what you know how to do best. Just give it to the audience the way it comes. 
then prepare to treat the audience to a night they certainly won't forget in a hurry.